Thank you. Welcome to San Francisco and the legendary Bill Graham Civic Auditorium to get right in and talk about Apple Watch. In June, just weeks after launching Apple Watch, we previewed our next generation of OS, and it's packed with powerful features. We're adding transit to maps, making it easier to find and use public transportation. With native apps, developers can do even more. We've been working with a company that we greatly admire, and that company is Hermes. We're really excited to offer two new finishes, gold and rose gold and anodized aluminum. Next up is iPad. We have the biggest news in iPad since the iPad. This is the iPad Pro. Why 12.9 inches? Well, here, let me tell you a little secret about its size. If you look at the width of the iPad Pro, it is the same as the height of the iPad Air. And now you have an iPad big enough to run your full iPad Air apps with more room side by side. It is faster than 80% of the portable PCs that shipped in the last 12 months. So we're very excited to tell you about a brand new accessory just for iPad Pro, and it's called the Smart Keyboard. It's covered in an Apple woven fabric. That fabric creates the cover, but also forms the structure and the feel of those keys. If you look closely, there are three new circles along the side of the iPad Pro. This is a brand new connector technology. We call it the Smart Connector. It carries power and data and connects magnetically to the smart keyboard. So when you want to attach your iPad to the keyboard, you just slide it on it. We're so happy to introduce to you another brand new accessory specifically for iPad Pro. It's called Apple Pencil. With false data, you can press lightly to get a thin stroke or press harder to get a darker, bolder stroke. This is the new Apple Pencil, $99 and the smart keyboard, 169. We've now moved iPad Mini 2 down to become our entry-level iPad at a new lower price, just 269. Above it is the brand new iPad Mini 4 that we're also launching today. So what's the iPad Mini 4? Well, simply, we've taken the power and performance of iPad Air 2 and built it into an even smaller mini enclosure. I'd like to talk about an even larger screen. We believe the future of television is apps. Today, I'm thrilled to show you the new Apple TV. See, show me something new. It starts with voice and with touch. The new remote has a glass touch surface across the top that makes it both fluid and precise to move around. You hold down the Siri button and you ask for something. Show me funny TV shows. Siri gives you a list of comedies. With Siri, it'll search across multiple content apps and give you all your viewing options on a single screen. We're introducing a brand new operating system for your Apple TV called TVOS. It's based on iOS and built for the living room. Apple TV comes in two models, 32 gigabytes of flash storage for 149, 64 gigabytes for 199, and it joins the existing Apple TV at $69. Introducing the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus. These new iPhones are absolutely beautiful, the most incredible iPhones we've ever made. This is the brand new rose gold aluminum finish. The new iPhone 6S comes in four metal finishes, silver, gold, space gray, and the new rose gold. 3D touch is a tremendous breakthrough in, in interacting with our devices. iPhone also recognizes force enabling new gestures, peak, and pop, giving you shortcuts to the things you do frequently. Let's take a look now. So now I can just apply just a little bit of pressure like that, and dive right into a message, take a quick look, 
let go, I'm right back to where I started from. The phone also spotted that she sent me a flight number. Well, I can peek in on that. And look at that, I get details right on the incoming flight time. That's really convenient. Well, thank you, Craig. Inside your iPhone, it's the fastest chip we've ever built into a phone, the new A9 chip. We have our new Hey Siri feature. And with Hey Siri, whether you're plugged in or not, you can speak directly to your iPhone and ask Siri things like, Hey Siri, what's it like being you? Hey Phil, hey Phil, hey Phil. Well, we've got a great camera in iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. It's a 12 megapixel iSight camera. These were taken in Iceland. One of the things you see, as our goal was, fantastic color. The skin tones are really accurate. You can also take amazing videos. HD videos, and now for the first time in an iPhone, 4K videos. So incredible to shoot and edit 4K videos directly on your iPhone. Along with the iSight camera, we have a new FaceTime camera. It's a five megapixel FaceTime HD camera. So we're gonna use the retina display to be a retina flash. In fact, one that matches the ambient lighting color. And what are pictures? They're these magical moments just frozen in time. But what if we could do something more? What if you could press with 3D touch on your photos and this happened? It's called live photos. So how do you take a live photo? You just take a photo as you always have. And it's the same beautiful high resolution, now 12 megapixel photo. <laughs> LTE has LTE advanced, so it's twice as fast. These are our most advanced phones ever. In fact, the most advanced phones in the world. Just look, we're very proud to tell you the new iPhone 6S, new 6S Plus will come in at the exact same prices and same configurations. And now this is how our lineup will look. We have one other set of pricing to tell you about for iPhone. It's a program called the iPhone Upgrade Program. When you get it, you choose your carrier. It is an unlocked phone. It includes the Apple Care Plus program, and it starts at just $32 a month. You can pre-order starting this Saturday, September 12th. And then it'll be available in just two weeks, September 25th. We're also going to want to run iOS 9 on all of our devices. So I'm very happy to tell you that it will become available just next week on September 16th. I'd like to take a minute and recognize everyone from Apple who worked so hard on delivering all of the great things you've seen this morning. Please stand up. I am applauding you.